Oh shit, I'm playing a Bills theme team. Oh, I got you, Noah. I'm the, I just tuned in. <laughs> As I now gotta go play <laughs> today's matchup, ironically. The Bills versus the Broncos. Not yet. But I'm playing a fucking... Let's go over the now. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. It's certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Try it. Know about the resurrect again. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36 yard line. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. First down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 39 yards there, a big one. Quarterbacks have so many options when they have a four vertical route because they can hit any one of those four at any time, often for a big gain. But to me, the key is don't lock in on any one of them. It's best for him to look in one direction and throw in another. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he is oh, let's go. End zone for a Denver touchdown. <laughs> An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. And there the counterplay proves successful for the touchdown. What typically makes a counterplay in general successful? Charles? Convenience store. What do? They have whatever it can be. Moving in one direction, meaning the defense. Get them going in one direction and then wall them off with your blocking and bring it back in the other direction. That way, you don't actually have to punish them with your blocking. You just position them. And if you have any kind of a good back, he'll take full advantage of it and gain good Because they really go the extra mile. Oh my god. Back-to-back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Allen to the right side and complete to Thomas. Oh my god, I really just missed four hit sticks in a row. That's good for 28 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. 
They'll contain him to just yeah, like a soda. second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it second and goal. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Allen. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That's not going to last you like the week. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled You're going things. back they out got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now Gordon. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. <laughs> They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking what up a that? first down. Not sure I agreed with the decision to go for it, but I definitely agreed with his decision to run it. He picked up that big first down. I think he let his head coach off the hook. I, that's what I was just going to say. If there's anybody more yes. happy than the depending, coach, Actually, depending on stadium. It's the coach that's he can make 55 depending on the stadium. Wait, what, what stadium are you in? Jordan, another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Yeah. And the Broncos first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run it here with Gordon. And he's corralled, but not before getting it in. You don't know what you want to do in Australia. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Playing the Bills team team. <laughs> a Broncos team team playing a Bills team team. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The tackle made. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's get the first down. They love being physical.
They'll look to throw now on first down. No oh my god. Time and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. Uh -huh. Now the Bills are going to use the I first down. Let them to get their asses whooped by Buffalo. Just seconds to go in the first half. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Oh no, they lowered the stats on the that 86 Beckham. Like faggots. How quickly did Judy? And yeah, they lowered the pace. At the 18 yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. If you're going to no. blitz, See. likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense oh, has an elite fuck. receiver. Oh, fuck. Drew Locke sucks in snow. Man coverage, you're going to him. Even I if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows what the ball is before the defender does. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The career leader in field goals made knocks that one through. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten the answer. Not allowed now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Back at the well, that second down completion, something of a disaster. And now they're left with third and long. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Rumbling past the 30. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still mm -hmm. now facing a fourth down after the scramble. But it brings up... The tight end. Oh, the delay flat. I mean, the delay fade from the tight end. I know, you just sit on it. Literally, just take you. No, you have a contained spy spread. You do contained spy and spread the backer, linebackers. Sub in your fastest guy to the side. Your fastest uh, like pass rusher to the side that he's rushing. So that it completely fucks with his mind. That he thinks he's gonna have it, and then he's not gonna have it. And then you just sit, you just sit with the. Uh, the game so far, this one moves the chains. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to no, no. move, evade. When you recognize he do, does it, you just sit, you just sit on it, and then he's gone. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 47. From the mm -hmm. shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by nice. Judy. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. <laughs> Here's Gordon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. <laughs> First down. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Buying time to his left. He's taken down yeah, at the yeah, 21 after a short gain of two. Just, they brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you. Were <laughs> I see you know. On second down, they'll run with 
close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 14. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And it's third down. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poirier, and he'll be brought down at his own 10 yard line. Oh, fucking adorable. Intercepted. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many oh, my God. The fact that they didn't just give Champ Bailey the pick there is the retarded. Maybe I get their timing back. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. It's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. To throw again on second down. Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. First and ten at the third. Grasso! Sabitzer! Lord Duke Grasso is a fucking monster. And I give this time to the tailback. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Five yards is the tally on first down. It brings up second and five. It brings up second and five at the 37 yard line. This car gets every animation. I swear you guys are really at the top of the to the air, Allen. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football park. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. I did. Yeah, they get first yeah. down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Allen's throw is complete. And some room to work. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Heady, heady, heady on that one. Huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning. They get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. They'll run on first down. Bush. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 14 yards, and the Bills have retaken the lead. <sighs> Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Yeah. Good. Makes the score, Bills 14, Broncos 10. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Honestly, bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. He'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. He'll run it. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Being chased out left. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And oh. the ball drops incomplete. 
Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. <laughs> to throw. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man. Run, Judy. Oh, my God. I just got bailed out by that fucking tip. Holy shit. They keep the game alive at least for Holy the shit, it's that it's tip drill. Just like that, they've got <laughs> to do it. The defense still has the advantage, but I know that there's some deflation there. That's why I hurry back to the line of scrimmage and attack them again. Now the Broncos are going to call the first Not of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Leads to second and goal at the six-yard line. Again, Gordon on second and goal. At a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Forced out to his left. And he can't get a throw off. Just don't throw the ball away like I fucking pressed it or not. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 25 ticks yeah. remaining. Yes. Also depending on stadium. Yeah, depending on stadium, we he can do it. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final. That's why I said depending st off stadium, he could do it. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He can and he's a cross. Tebow. Tebow. Holy. Tebow. Let's go. Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although. Let's go. Tebow just saved my life. <laughs> the fucking 13 yard rushing touchdown on, on fourth and one. Oh! up and good and it would appear barring some late heroics they're gonna get out of here with a come from behind victory I can edge the trigger back to throw Allen. oh my god Cole Beasley is the left side caught by Diggs oh my god and he's gonna be out of bounds right at midfield 25 yards that time no risk 10 at the 50 yard line from midfield here's Allen Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside deal. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. Oh my god, this guy just and it'll be so second cool. and very short. And now the timeout call on the pickup. So five seconds left. And a field goal I only got one timeout to ISIS. So the field goal oh yeah, and Steven Hauschka? Not an elite kicker? <laughs> oh hell yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I try to ice the shit out of this guy. Oh, motherfucker. Of course he's gonna try to run it. Actually, wait. He doesn't score here, I win. Yeah, no, wait, yeah he doesn't score, I win. Now a handoff here to his running back. Oh my god, he got the timeout off. He got the fucking timeout off. Oh my god. Bro, if I let him run one more yard. Oh, but never mind, he got, still got the ice. Fuck, Hauschka made it. Oh, fuck. Like, I wanted to go to college overtime with this guy. Fuck! Fuck! I knew it was heads. I knew it was gonna be heads. God damn it! The game is over at that point. I knew it was gonna be head. On play action, Allen. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. 
Oh my god, I knew this. Back to back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And it's certainly done a nice job splitting the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the deep. Oh my god, he's just trying to now this guy's just gonna try to cheese Reggie Bush. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Well that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit sometimes i think in the huddle the quarterback just says hey who's gonna make a play for me i just need something right here and the end result there nice first down drive keeps moving now this one is running back out of the backfield and they'll oh, get it down what a as he's inside ball. the 40. Oh, 11 shit. more yards that go around the first down as well 39 yard line Oh my god, Chris Harris Jr. could have ended the game. Come on, you could have ended the game. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And he'll get four here down to the 35 yard line. Mm -hmm. Got it. Third down. Four brings up third and six. Allen gonna throw. What a ball! What a no, DRC dive. And he's gonna have a goes first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, you get into these overtime situations. That's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially at a spot as you just described, we're an OT. You've got to go to the guys you can trust, and you know are going to make the plays. What they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. The ball carrier, Dominic Rogers Cromarty, up to make the tackle. You don't see that a ton, do you? With a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Let's go! You're trying to get up! Yes, outrun Josh Allen! Let's, let's go! This guy just threw a pick six in overtime! Thank God this guy just threw a pick six in OT! Oh, please, cover three! Thank God! Let's go, Kareem Jackson! Oh. And I think from now on, we're going to definitely travel someone who can help us because I thought I was going to pass out at the end. <laughs> Not just getting to the overtime, but the plays in overtime that led to this one and to finish it on a defensive touchdown, a takeaway that gets into the end zone. I'm not rooting for anyone, but boy, I love to see games finish that way. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. Oh, my God. Gun, you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Buffalo. Are we trying to make it more competitive?